What is up you guys, Jordan here from The Gentleman's Cove. Thank you for stopping by once again. If you're watching this video or just subscribe to the channel in general, you're probably interested in elevating your style. So in this video, we're going to go over things to help you dress better and also dress more dapper to improve your style. And just a disclaimer, this is just my opinion on how you can maybe make yourself look a little more classic, a little more elegant, a little more dapper. So the first thing you need to do, and I've said this many times, is get tailored clothing. This does not mean getting custom suits and custom shirts. This means getting things tailored to your body. That is what a tailor does. So if you're tall and skinny, if you're short and skinny, if you're tall and bigger, if you're short and bigger, getting something tailored to you is going to help accentuate the things that you want to be shown and hide your flaws. Also, another thing you guys can do instead of shopping for very expensive suits and then taking them to a tailor is go to a thrift shop. You can find very, very inexpensive suits and shirts there and then you take them to a tailor and it keeps your costs at a very, very minimum. However, when you are shopping for a suit, there are some things that need to fit on you properly and I have a video on how a suit should fit right up here. Just check that out and then come right back to this video. <laughs> if you were to compare someone who is sharp and tailored to a T and a person who is very sloppy and not tailored at all, nine out of 10 times, everybody's gonna think the guy who was tailored is dressed better and has better style. <laughs> So going to a tailor makes you look very sharp, it makes you look clean, and very elegant. Also, it kind of shows to the people that you know what you're doing. Next is an overlooked item that I feel is very functional and also very stylish. And that is suspenders. Personally, I feel that suspenders add just an extra dimension to your outfit, something that not a lot of people wear, so it's going to stand out a little bit and just kind of brings your own style into the outfit. It looks way better than a belt in my opinion, and they actually hold your pants up. That is the purpose of suspenders. And you can also use colors and patterns to either complement the outfit or make it stand out so you are kind of a little bit different than everybody else that is, you know, a sea of normally dressed guys. Not only that, but suspenders are very classic and very timeless, and if you want to have that very old school, dapper look, you you can't go wrong with suspenders. These are from KK and J, who I've actually partnered up with for this video, because I recommend them to everybody. Literally every time I wear a suit, I am wearing suspenders. Also just because I don't like belt loops and suspenders take the place of a belt, and I love the look, and yeah. Just a little backstory on the brand. They are based out of New York. Everything is made in the US. They use super high quality leathers. Their fabrics are amazing. And not only that, they are super affordable. So if you're in the market for any type of menswear accessories, whether it be suspenders or shirt tail stays, I highly recommend checking out KKJ. They will be in the description below with I believe also a promo code for you guys. I personally do not recommend suspenders that have the clips. To me, they just look kind of cheap and they look kind of tacky, but that's just my personal opinion. I like the buttonhole suspenders, which is the ones that KK and J sell, simply because it just makes me feel more timeless, more classic, and I'm like from the 1930s. You're gonna need buttons on the inside of your pants to wear these. Luckily, when you buy KK and J suspenders, they actually send you a whole set of buttons so you can just sew them in or go to a tailor, it takes like $3. So to me, suspenders just kind of make you look better and it also gives you that timeless dapper feel, which in my opinion is very awesome. So the third thing that's gonna help you look like you're dressing better is keeping your shirt tucked in. There's nothing worse than having everything look very put together than having a very sloppy, blousy, billowing shirt coming out of your pants. It literally just kills the outfit and makes everything look way worse than it really needs to be. Let's do a little comparison. This guy right here and this guy right here, which one looks better? The guy that has his shirt tucked in. So there's a few ways that you can keep your shirt tucked all day. There's different ways that you could fold your shirt when you're tucking it. There's different tucking techniques. But the way that I keep my shirt tucked all day is using shirt tail stays. Shirt tail stays are essentially things that clip onto the bottom of your shirt and then on the bottom of your socks or if you're going sockless, they wrap around your calf and they keep your shirt tucked all day. The ones that I use are from KK and J. It's also these guys right here. I also did a video on how to keep your shirts tucked all day. You can find that right there as well. Having your shirt tucked in just keeps everything flowing nicely. It keeps everything looking very sharp and very elegant. Also you guys, when you take a little more time to care about how things fit on you and the way you look, not only is it going to boost your confidence, but it's gonna be also very appealing to the ladies or the guys, whatever you're into, but trust me, it's very appealing to whoever you're trying to appeal to. The next thing you can do to dress a little better, in my opinion, is investing in a quality pair of shoes and maintaining them. 
In my opinion, I feel that shoes just bring the entire outfit together. Most guys actually dress around the shoes that they're wearing. The great thing about investing in a pair of quality shoes is that they're going to last way, way longer and they're going to look better for a longer time. The thing that I look at when I'm buying shoes is would I rather buy one pair of shoes that's gonna last me five, six, seven, eight years or like three shoes that's gonna last me one year each. I'm just not gonna get as much wear out of them and I'm gonna be spending a lot more in the long run on three different pairs instead of just one. So keep that in mind when you are shopping or investing in shoes. One tip I'll share with you guys is if new shoes are too expensive, look on eBay, buy used shoes. Shoes won't stay new forever. If you buy new shoes, they're eventually gonna be put on your feet and they're gonna be worn in anyway. So I don't see the issue with buying used shoes that are well-maintained and already kind of worn in. My grandpa would always tell me that he can tell the character of a man by the shine of his shoes. So in general, if you're taking care of your shoes, people are gonna think that you're taking care of yourself as well. Not only that, excluding physical factors, girls always look at your shoes when you're going out like on a first date or when they see you. Shoes are a big deal to girls. <laughs> Last but not least, this one is completely up to you guys and this is making things your own. Add things to your outfit to make it unique. That is what's beautiful about style. If there's certain things that you like and there's certain things that you want to add to your outfit, it's just going to make you have your own personal look. Whether it be rings, jewelry, necklaces, glasses, hats, pins, suspenders, anything that you find interesting that you want to put in your outfit is what makes you have your own personal style. It could be pins that you put on your lapels of your leather jackets or your suits. It could be a feather you put in your hat or a pin that you put in your hat or a paper clip or a safety pin or a little rose that goes in your lapel. So many things that you can do to have your own personal style and make you kind of stand out and look like that guy knows what he's doing. He's putting things together that are good for him and it just makes you look like you have a better sense of being well-dressed. And that's where you can make your style unique and that's where things can start to blossom for you and then the possibilities are endless. It all comes down to what you like and what you feel confident in. So I hope that some of these things were gonna be helpful on your journey of dressing better or improving your style. Maybe give you a little bit of inspiration or the confidence to go out there and wear something that you weren't necessarily confident in wearing. I'll have the links to everything in the description below. Make sure you check them out. Uh, I highly recommend the KKJ stuff simply just because I wear it on a regular, regular basis. And with that, make sure to check me out on all my social medias. I do a lot of fun stuff on Instagram and Snapchats. So I will be talking to you very soon. All right, bye.